Hey guys, welcome to Tactors Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn how to make a faceless YouTube channel only with free AI tools. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. In this tutorial, we will be talking about how to generate AI voiceovers, add visuals, and create engaging content for your YouTube channel. And before we get started, let's do a quick overview onto what is Faceless YouTube Channel. So a Faceless YouTube Channel is actually where the content creator remains anonymous or doesn't reveal their face or personal identity on camera. So the creator may use voiceovers, text, or other means to present content without showing their face. So this anonymity allows users to create or focus on the content itself, maintain its privacy, or create content without being in front of the camera. So these are often used for educational, informative, or entertainment purposes while keeping the creator's identity concealed. Now to get started with this, our first step is content creation. So we will create a content for your YouTube channel and we're gonna go ahead and try to use OpenAI for that or ChatGPT. So if you're not familiar with this, this is actually a conversational artificial intelligence AI that is developed by OpenAI. So it's based on the GPT 3.5 architecture and is designed to generate human-like text responses in natural language. So these can actually understand and generate text-based conversation, making it suitable for various applications, including chatbots, virtual assistants, and text-based customer support. And for you to be able to get started onto using this platform, you're gonna go ahead and try to click onto the login button in here or try chat GPT. So I'm gonna do a quick sign in or login process so that you'll get redirected onto the main page. So as you can see, right after a quick login, you'll get redirected in here. So we're currently using the 3.5, which is the fastest model great for most everyday tasks. And this is available to free and plus users and the GPT-4, which is the most capable model great for tasks that require creativity and advanced reasoning. So if you want to use this one, you need to upgrade to chat GPT+. For this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and choose a niche or topic that you're passionate about. So we could use interesting animals as our topic in here. So we're going to go ahead in here and type in on the send a message in here, write a script of 30 to 50 words with interesting facts about your chosen animal. So we're going to go ahead and try to write that one out in here. So you could go ahead and try to edit this as well as per your liking. So you could choose how many words and you could also choose the topic that you want to do the generation with. So once you have this, you're going to go ahead and click onto the send and we're going to go ahead and wait it. So you can make it longer as well if you'd like. So we'll just have to wait for this one to be done. So as you can see, ChatGPT already generated the script for us. So there are also some signs in here or some notes. When do you going to speak? the title and many more so what you'll need to do right after is you're just going to go ahead and head into this button in here to copy the script onto your clipboard so this is the copy button we also have the like and dislike and if you're not satisfied with what it generated there's actually a regenerate option in here so that ChatGPT will create another one for you now once you have finalized your script in here we're going to go ahead and down to our next tool which is play hd so this is where we're going to go ahead and generate ai voiceover so for us to be able to get started with this there is actually a generate ai voice for free in here so just a quick overview in here or a description this create ultra realistic text to speech using play hd's ai voice generator reader so these will help us into our content generation and if you have already an account you could just go ahead and simply click on to login and if you don't have an account yet you're just gonna go ahead and try to sign up for free and to sign in or sign up you're just gonna go ahead and click on to generate ai voice for free so as you can see you'll have an option in here to sign up using your google account or type in your full name email password and in your phone agree to the terms and service and click on the sign up and there is a login button here onto the bottom part and i'm just going to try to use my google account so that will get redirected onto the dashboard now right after a quick sign up or login you'll get redirected here onto their dashboard so what you'll need to do in here since i've gone ahead and copied out the script earlier we're just going to go ahead and paste it here onto this one so as you can see this is what it would look like right after pasting this you could also go ahead and choose a speed in here and also you could go ahead and try to choose a voice that suits your content so you'll just have to click onto this to change the voice and once you're gone ahead and already finalized everything in here what you'll need to do is you're you're just gonna go ahead and try to click on to generate speech so as you can see we're gonna wait for this one so just like ChatGPT, if you're not also satisfied with how it turned out there's also a regenerate option so we're gonna wait for this one so that we could also go ahead and do a quick preview onto what it generated right after 
now once it is done generating this is what it would look like so you could actually press on the display button so go ahead and do a quick preview for this and also you could click onto this button to download it so each sample is unique click on regenerate to create multiple samples and select the one that you prefer just like this one we'll have to generate all of this so we'll just have to click onto each of them do a quick preview into here and click on the generate speech so that we'll have all of the audio for this script so as you can see if you click onto it one by one you should notice as well that the audios are also compiling in here onto the bottom part but if you want to have this one generated all if you don't want to do this by each you'll just have to click on the generate all here onto the upper part so i'll just have to click onto that one and previews are also generated right after this one is generated so i'll just have to wait for that one to be finished so that we could go ahead and try to download it right after now once you've gone ahead and completed it all you'll just have to click onto the export button in here you could export it each separately or as a single audio file so we're going to go ahead and try to export this as an audio file and it will also prompt you to preview all of the generated before you export it so we'll just have to click onto ok and then we'll wait for this one to be downloaded now down to our next tool in here which is canva so we're going to use this one to create visuals for content generation to get started onto using canva once you're already signed up or logged in into your account you'll get redirected in here so there is actually a search bar here onto the middle part which is what we're going to use so we're going to type in in here youtube shorts so right after clicking or typing youtube shorts you should be able to see different search prompts in here we're going to go ahead and click onto this one so that we'll get redirected onto the template page of youtube shorts so this is where we're going to go ahead and try to find in some of templates that we're going to use so you could actually browse through the different templates in here so that you're going to go ahead and just try to edit this one to make the design reflect your own designs as well but what we're going to do in here is we could also try to create a new design in here we'll type in youtube shorts here onto the upper part so that we could start from scratch so we're gonna go ahead and create a blank file in here so we're gonna go ahead and click onto this one and then right after we're just gonna wait for this one to load so that we'll get redirected onto the editing page now once you've gone ahead and where i pulled up the editing page here onto the upload section we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop the file that we have gone ahead and downloaded earlier that has a recording so we're just gonna wait for this one to be finished and then right after we're gonna go ahead and try to search in here onto the elements or we could go ahead and try to search here onto the videos for copyright free visuals so you could use this one in here or you could also try to use this one which is pixels to find relevant images for our youtube short so make sure to select vertical orientation to match your youtube shorts so we're gonna go ahead and try to search in here since we've gone ahead and try to use animals so we could try to search for animals here or we could go ahead and search animals here also into pixel so you could choose which platform that you want to use onto getting this copyright free visuals so as you can see there are a lot of options in here and also in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to drag and drop it here onto our canva design we could try to resize this one out or adjust this as per your liking so that you could go ahead and try to generate something like this so as you can see we've gone ahead and added already a video here onto our canva design now since the the audio that we have uploaded is already downloaded in here we're just going to go ahead and drag and drop it also in here so that it would be added onto our design so we're going to go ahead and do it like that and then right after you could arrange the visuals to match your audio content so you could also crop this one out so we're just going to leave it up until here and then you could add in some other videos that you've got from the internet so that you could update this one further now once you've gone ahead and already added this the next thing that we'll need to do in here is go to youtube studio the next thing that we could do in here is to add in the background music so you could do go to the youtube studio in here then the audio libra library and choose an audio in there but you could also utilize some things here onto canva to add in or you could actually utilize other platforms so that you could go ahead and get some copyright free music that you could add onto your youtube short now once everything is done you could actually add in some text also there is a text button in here you could add in a heading a subheading and a little bit of a body text and also you could add in some cute elements onto your youtube shorts so you could just customize it further as per your liking until you get the video that you want to see then right after once everything is done you could go ahead and try to add in a subtitle so for adding a subtitle you could actually use this platform that we have in here which is the vidIQ so if you're looking on how to grow your youtube channel this vidIQ tool is perfectly for you so you could actually click the link in the description 
in the description box below to kickstart your journey here in BitIQ for free. Then you could also sign up using your Google account, enter your email address and sign up. And then right after that, you'll just have to upload your video file in here, get the subtitle for that one. And then right after, export it into MP4 format. Now, once everything is all set and you're already ready, you're just going to go ahead and try to click on share in here, click onto the download option. You'll have also the option to choose in a file type. So we'll just have to choose MP4 video and then click on to download. And then right after, it is time to upload it onto your YouTube channel. So remember, it's not just about ideas. It's about making those ideas happen. So you can use this process to create engaging content for your channel and start sharing your passion with the world. And if you think this tutorial was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video.